Yes, guys, and welcome from me. This is Championship Manager 0102. Time for a save review now. And this is Mark Rutgers we are going to. Now, you may recall Mark Rutgers. Um, his last save preview was... Um, he was just... Was he... Had he just been offered the Roma job? Is that right? Or was he taken... Either way. Um, we can scrap that ship. This should still restore. No, it's not going to restore. Okay, maybe not. Oh, it will restore. Yeah, okay. All them, all them fucking okays. I didn't think that was going to restore, but it looks like it will now. But... Um, it could be a number of reasons why you get uh, them sort of errors. And nine times out of ten, when somebody passes me their... Um, wow. When somebody passes me their save, it's because they've got a different insult. Well, okay, well, I did not see that coming. Did not see that coming at all. Mark is in charge of Newcastle. And it looks like... Where are we now, then? Uh, we're at halfway through season uh, 12. Looking good. Very, very impressed with that immediately from you there, um, Mark. Okay, more importantly then. Okay, so he took Roma and he left Roma at the start of this season then. Yeah, are we reading that right? Okay, let's just uh Yeah, back to back titles. Well done. Well done with regards to that. Um let's just go to that. That'll tell us roughly. He won the Champions League. It looks like he thrashed Bayern Munich in the final. And the Italian Cup, he demolished them in the Italian Cup. He won the first leg. Okay, that was last season. And the season before, he won the Champions League. Didn't win the Cup. I think he had to leave, didn't he? No doubt about it. I, I think um, this, this is a really good... This is a good one because Newcastle, it's certainly going to be a challenge. There's no doubt about that. He started out at Telstra. We knew that. He went to final, went to Bayern Munich, and went to Roma. So this is his... Um, his fifth bash then. Um, Holland. Now, what happened at Holland? Took over at Holland on the 14th. Left, assumingly, after the the Euros. And lost the Euros. Lost the Euros for free then. Now, he probably did the right thing in leaving before getting sacked. Because you know what those fuckers are like uh, in the international side of things. Okay, so let's have a look now then at his status then. Um... I'm guessing he's got money. Good amount of money. Definitely good amount of money in... Is that... Is that Robert Malcolm? The Robert Malcolm. Fuck me. Okay, so let's have a look at his signings then. Uh, so he took over... What do we say? It was that roughly about the 12th of July, weren't it? Did he buy Lee Bowyer? I wouldn't have thought he brought Lee Bowyer. Wait, let's just... Uh, let's just double check that again a minute. Um, keep fucking hell. Let's just... Um, so he took over on the 30th of July. He took over 30th of July. So let's have a look at some of those signings then. Yeah, Lee Bayer wasn't his. So he's been to town. He's brought some players. Got some good signings there as well. I love that Paraguayan goalkeeper. Yeah, look at that. Oh, what a player. What a fucking beast of a player. Okay, yeah, some, um, some pretty fucking... Oh, you, you brought Robert Malcolm. That's quite interesting, actually, Robert Malcolm. I remember him from years back. Okay, so, um, yeah, so looking really good. I see your formation. Yeah, it's still that same formation. Now, this is funny, really, because I've been looking at something recently, and like as recent as yesterday, and they had a similar sort of formation to that. You know, this, uh, the goalkeeper is Wibbob. Don't like that. You know my views on that. What have I said to you about that? Um, so, no way. Is that the Michael Chopper? Oh my god. That is outrageous. Well, I'll tell you what, you've certainly given yourself a challenge. There's no doubt about that. And you've clearly had a good start to the season. Um, let me just have a look at what. Have you got any uh, individual instructions for this? For these guys? Man to man on your centre backs, cross ball, guessing your full back. Oh, your full backs. And. Okay, that's quite interesting. So you've got these two attacking, you've got these two midfielders here, Graf and Lorente, both with cross ball. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, long shots. I mean, if it's working for you, it's working for you. You know, who am I to fucking, who am I to judge? 
Uh, but you're certainly doing a good enough job there. Direct play. So, yeah, are very, very impressive indeed. Um, let's have a look at that whip screen. Yeah, there you go. So, you're looking really strong there. Now, let's see how you're getting on. League Cup, you're into the semi-finals. Are you in Europe? I don't think you are, are you? You won't be. So, let's have a look at how well Newcastle have done in terms of before you arrived. Ninth last season, second the season before. So that probably explains with a little bit of uh, capital. So, and actually, oh, what am I talking about? Second the season before, that was first division. Okay, so this is a bigger challenge than what I first anticipated. But very, very impressive here, Mark. Looking really, really good. Uh, let's have a look at some of the big names. Uh, let's just take this off. Let's just take this off. See, see who's still knocking about a value. Um, Robin still going, still going strong. Fernando Torres still going. John Welsh, fucking hell, John Welsh. He can be a fifty million pound player, and I bet you, I bet you, he's had a big move. Look at that. You, I know that on some some saves, not many, probably about twenty five percent of the time, he can be a really big player, and this is clearly within that twenty five percent. He is absolutely fucking brilliant. Love John Welsh. Um, Javier Saviola still doing it, still killing it. Okay, so Mark Rutgers, what can I say? Well done, you keep it going and keep us updated. Until next time, from me, guys, take it easy.